Well, I'm joined now by Sean McBearty, the manager of Leverkenny Gales, and Darren Hunter, I think you said you're the joint captain, is it? Yeah, myself and Sean McDonough. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll start with uh, you, Sean. You've been here before. You've been here a few times before, only two years ago. Lost. Uh, what's the feeling this time? Well, I suppose uh, similar. Like we, we, we definitely we lost against a very, very good uh, Bunkrana team, and uh, no on the day as well. We we certainly put it up to them, and I suppose their their experience and uh, the fact that maybe that they had a couple of uh, players with inter county experience at the time. If, we, if I remember back, it was uh, Keelan McGonagall and and Daryl O'Connor that sort of. They turned it around for them in the second half uh, on that day and uh, you know we were narrowly beaten certainly uh, anybody that was at the game that day felt that uh, we put up a good performance uh, but that's that's past tense uh, mm -hmm. as far as we're concerned now it's what we can do against Downings this weekend and we're looking forward to to, to not alone putting up a good performance but coming out with the right result. If my memory serves me right, you went into that final on the back of a very good season, a very good you were on good form actually, you know. Yeah, well actually that we, we would have got promotion from division four that year as well, like you know. But I suppose uh at the time, um, you know, Bunkrana were playing at a higher level to ourselves and uh Maybe I think they might have been in Division Two that year. Maybe got relegated. And the other thing about them that particular year as well was that a number of their players uh, had been in the states during the summer, and they returned again in time for for championship action. And it sort of it sort of gave them a, a huge lift, you know. Mm. So, but that's I said already. That's past tense. Uh, you know, we're looking forward now to 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 the. Uh, match against Downings this weekend. And only that's only two years ago or what, three seasons ago now? Two, two, yeah, 19, 2019, yeah. yeah. Have you ago. many survivors from that team, the bulk of them? Uh, the bulk of them, yeah, but the most of them all are. There was a, there's a, a few guys, all right, that uh, uh, you might be aware, like Kieran Cannon played that him and uh, Kieran's actually, uh, he's just, he won the semi-final down with Clonmel Commercials yesterday. Uh, they're, they're, uh, he was playing for them they're through to the final of the Tipperary Championship and uh, um, Liam Doherty is uh, working on the continent at the moment and they were our two midfielders at that time yeah. but having said that you know you've they, lost a few to the reserves not, as well or yeah, dropped down but, to reserve but the young lads that have come in we've, we've had four or five very very good young lads that have applied themselves no very idea. very well well you're talking about guys like Liam McIlary Ben Gallagher um, you know young Connor Walker you know th those guys you know you know are very keen to to, to sort of to, you know to give you a hundred percent and uh, they never miss training and you know you, you can't blame them for effort they're definitely you know they're up and coming players and you know they they, they have more than uh, made up for any any anybody that anything that we lost you know over the last couple of years you know those young lads that have come in have made a huge impact yeah. for this you know? and Darren you were there in uh, two thousand nineteen weren't you unfortunately I was yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was there. Um, yeah, tough one, tough one to take. But uh, I suppose going into it, we we were the underdogs then. You know that Bunkrana team were were a good side, and um, you know we, we put up a performance, but uh, we just didn't get over the line. Um, mm. Hopefully now we can have a different outcome on on Sunday. Would you have a lesson learned from that? Ah, uh, you, you'd hope so. We'll, we'll find out on Sunday, I suppose. Yeah, the lessons yeah, been learned. Yeah, um, yeah. You know where. We're still lacking that experience of getting over the line, you know, getting over that junior junior line. But uh, listen, hopefully Sunday can go our way. We know we have a tough task again. You know, a lot of similarities between the 2019 opposition and, and this year's opposition. You know, they're coming from divisions above us. But uh, listen, we'll give Sunday our best rattle and uh, yeah. hopefully yeah. hopefully we can. But confidence has to be high with yourselves. You've won promotion as well from Division 3, you know, uh, uh, to Division 2. Looking forward to that next season. So... You know, and you've come through the champ. You had one or one blip all, yeah. already away to Cairndona, wasn't it? But yeah. otherwise, you know, you've you've impressed. Uh yeah, we we've been going all right. Yeah, um, you know, hopefully, just that we can continue to perform. You know, we've had a tough, a couple of tough games on the way in. You know, and we we've kind of scraped over the line. Uh, maybe it shows a bit of resilience there. So we'll need that. We'll need that come Sunday. So. You know, hopefully we can continue, you know, any form that we have, have developed, that we can continue that into the weekend and uh, that we show up on the day and, and do what we know we can do. It's just about sh showing up on the day and getting the job done, hopefully. 
and Anton McFadden has come in to train the team this year. Has he made a big difference? Uh, he brings a bit of experience there. You know, he helped us out with a bit of S and C and at the start of the year and a bit of coaching. Um, so you know, it was professional, another voice. You know, so it's uh, e everything helps. You know, anything different can 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 often be a good thing. So uh, you know, that's that's been a boost to us. Um, so hopefully now maybe that gives us a bit of an edge or something. But uh, any any advantage we can get, we'll we'll, we'll take. And back to you, Sean. Finally, you you were without um, Roland Frayn, who picked up a, a bad injury against Moville. It was at that game, and your son Connor as well. Connor McBerty were missing against Narasa in the semi final. What well, obviously I think Roland's out for the season. Yeah, well, come here, listen. You know, Roland's not going to be going to make going to make. Uh, Going to make it for this weekend. We we, we know that. Uh, so yeah, his season's over. But uh, with Connor, it's sort of fifty fifty. Like it'll be three weeks now since he since he since he tweaked the hamstring. So you know we're we're hopeful that he'll play some part on Sunday if if, if required. Like you know. So I'm sure like if if, uh, if 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 the game is in the melting pot and you know we need to bring him in, we'll 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 uh, you know. To no point in giving him on the yeah. edge. Big, a, 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 a big loss not to have him because he is the fulcrum of your attack. I know Cormac Cannon has, has been leading that attack well, but he's the fulcrum of your... He's the, he's the, he's the go-to go man in the front line. Oh, sure. You know, it's, it's all about, at the end of the day, at this level, it's all about having scoring forwards. And we know Downings have them, you know, and we need our scoring forwards on the pitch if, if, if we're going to win. So, you know, it's... it's uh, that's what it's all down to, really, at the, you know, at the end of the day. And, you know, so... Hopefully, you know uh, that we, we can we can deliver, you know, enough scores to to to, to tilt the the match in our way at the weekend, you know.